resigning as president of the University of Missouri system. My motivation in making this decision comes from love. I love MU, Columbia, where I grew up, in the state of Missouri. I have thought, prayed about this decision. It's the right thing to do. The response to this announcement, I'm sure, ranges from joy for some to anger to others, and that's why we're here today. So let me speak to why this is so important at this time. To our students, from concerned students 1950 to our grad students, football players and other students, the frustration and anger that I see is clear, real, and I don't doubt it for a second. To the faculty and staff who have expressed their anger, their frustration, it too is real. To my friends and my supporters that have been so gracious and have sent so many emails and texts and calls of support, I understand that you might be frustrated as well. So the question really is, is why did we get to this very difficult situation? It is my belief we stopped listening to each other. We didn't respond or react. We got frustrated with each other and we forced individuals like Jonathan Butler to take immediate action or unusual steps to affect change. This is not, I repeat, not the way change should come about. Change comes from listening, learning, caring, and conversation. And we have to respect each other enough to stop yelling at each other and start listening and quit intimidating each other through either our role or whatever means that we decide to use. Unfortunately, this has not happened. And that is why I stand before you today and I take full responsibility for this frustration and I take full responsibility for the inaction that has occurred. I'd ask everybody, from students to faculty, to staff, to my friends, everybody, use my resignation to heal and start talking again, to make the changes necessary, and let's focus on changing what we can change today and in the future, not what we can't change, which is what happened in the past. I truly love everybody here in the great institution, and my decision to resign comes out of love, not hate. I'd like to read some scripture that's given me strength. Uh, I hope it provides you with some strength as well as we think about what's next. I have to also give credit to my daughter for reminding me of the scripture. Psalm 46.1. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. We need to use my resignation. Please, please use this resignation to heal, not to hate. And let's move forward together for a brighter tomorrow. God bless all of you, and I thank you for this wonderful opportunity to have led the University of Missouri system. Thank you.